the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, NUST, is one of the oldest technological universities in sub-Saharan Africa. Established in the year 1952, the College of Engineering has produced excellent technocrats and has been the hub of inventions and innovations. The Materials Engineering Department has played a key role in these achievements. The Materials Engineering Department at Kane West traces its roots to the then Institute of Mining and Minerals Engineering. Having begun with a small student population, the department currently hosts over 900 students being trained for local and global impact. The department currently runs two undergraduate programs, that is BSc Materials Engineering and BSc Metallurgical Engineering on both Kumasi and Kumasi campuses, and three postgraduate programs, that is MPhil Materials Engineering, PhD Materials Engineering, and MPhil Environmental Resources Management. Hello guys, welcome to the Water Research Team for the Department of Materials Engineering. Mostly what we do is we focus more on synthesizing natural materials from zeolites, primary materials, plastic waste, latrite to produce membranes and other functional materials to treat wastewater and groundwater for our daily use. This is in line with uh, the Sustainable Development Goal 6. That's trying to achieve clean water for, for everyone. So mostly what we do is to synthesize membranes from these natural materials. And these are some of the membrane work that we've been doing in the, in the department, trying to filter our water bodies to remove some pollutants like fluorides and those heavy metals in our water bodies. Hi. Welcome to the Energy Materials Development Group of the Materials Engineering Department here in UST. And my name is Dr. Kujumen Sadapa. I am the team lead of this group. In this group, we are primarily focused on materials research for sustainable energy systems. We are also involved in creating a coherent educational system. And we're looking at the graduate level and we hope that we're going to trickle this down to the undergraduate level and we'll be applying interdisciplinary approach. Materials engineering provides knowledge on developing novel materials and modifying existing ones with enhanced performance. The metallurgical engineering program also covers metal extraction from their ores into useful products. Students are trained to explore and understand the interplay among processing structure and properties in metals, ceramics, polymers, and composites for applications in areas such as nanotechnology, aerospace, energy systems, electronics, mining, and medicine. Another research area that the department focuses on is on process metallurgy and material simulation and modeling, which over the years has yielded a lot of good results for the department. Energy efficiency is a global challenge. But here we know that the development of novel materials will help ensure the sustainability of life. The Energy Materials Group focuses on discovery and development of energy materials. We are also into computational and theoretical analysis of materials for energy development. We also follow keenly in terms of materials characterization for energy generation and storage applications. There are a number of exciting initiatives going on in this group. We explore the vital role that new materials play in energy generation and storage. This we know will help us to gain a greater understanding of the energy related research that we do here which involves photovoltaics, uh, batteries, supercapacitors, fuel cells, hydrogen technologies, uh, thermoelectrics, and photocatalysis. 
Currently in the group, we are actively involved in the conversion of bio-waste materials into useful energy storage devices. We welcome you to join our group. Thank you. Ghana is blessed with many minerals, a few of which are gold, crude oil, oxide, and recently discovered iron ore. There are also other local materials that have the potential to be processed into useful products. The human resource and scientific support to process these local materials into useful products fall far below the nation's potential. It is thus needful that we introduce appropriate training programs and innovative research to develop our local materials to increase the productivity of the manufacturing sector in Ghana. Training at the Department of Materials Engineering, NUST, offers an individual so many opportunities. There is a wide range of industries to work from, whether you are based locally or abroad. These industries include Valco, Tor, Aluex, mining companies, steel processing companies, and many more. The courses offered in the program are creative, and upon successful completion, can give you an entrepreneurial drive if you desire to start up a business. If you want to join the corporate world too, you will fit in very well. Hello, my name is Benjamin Omusu, an alumnus of the Materials Engineering Department of Kenya University. Um, I'd like to say that venturing into material science remains one of the best decisions I've ever made, both academically and career-wise. The, the multidisciplinary nature of the program exposes students to the diverse opportunities available in the world of engineering today. Uh, I've had the opportunity to work on several impactful research projects, um, ranging from product development to semiconductors to even groundbreaking um, manufacturing methods such as additive manufacturing. I do attribute my success in the field to the fundamental understanding that I received from the Department of Materials Engineering in Kane University, and I do so without any reservations whatsoever, recommended to any student or anyone who wants to make an impact in the world of engineering today. Hello, I am Henry Afo, a proud product of the Materials Engineering Department in one thing I like about materials engineering is its interdisciplinary nature and it's led me to continue on to get my PhD in the field. And this nature of the program presents a whole plethora of opportunities in terms of the career that one could take. And in my experience, it's presented me with so many opportunities for collaboration with people of diverse disciplines and from different parts of the world with whom I have worked on projects ranging from advanced manufacturing of aerospace components to nanomechanics of materials. And in all of my collaborative efforts and interactions with these people, I have never noticed a gap in my understanding of the basics of material science. And I would attribute this to the rigorous uh, materials engineering program in KMUSD. This is because it is not so skilled to certain materials alone, but rather offers students a fundamental understanding of the whole spectrum of materials from metals to composites. And, and this has actually been an integral component of my success as an engineer today. Hi, my name is Stefania. I'm an alumnus of the department and I graduated in 2019. Through this program, I have acquired the needed basic knowledge and set of skills, which have further made me appreciate the role of a materials engineer and their impact towards technological and economic advancement, as well as human welfare and environmental restoration. Ghana is well known for its abundance of natural resources, and my personal career goal is to become an expert in the field of renewable and sustainable material and utilize my expertise to resolve the major millennial environmental issue. I believe that this program has laid the foundation for me to become that materials engineer our world, especially Ghana, our country needs to be.